Do you know who David Satcher is? David Satcher is the former director of the CDC and former Surgeon General for the United States. Today I want to give you a representation of who he is, and specifically I want everyone to know his life story and his significance to creating change and finding justice for people of color. To start off, I'm going to talk about his life story. So at two years old, he was diagnosed with the whooping cough, and Dr. Jackson, who was the only black doctor in the area, had basically told his family that he most likely wasn't going to survive and that the only thing that they could do is pray. And Dr. Jackson would spend his off days when he wasn't um, working next to Satcher and just would sit with him because he knew that there wasn't much that they could do other than that. So this was kind of an interesting story because it would have been completely different if he would have been a white child. So because he was black, he got denied access from the hospital and this was a major issue that other children that were black had to face. And according to VOA News, an article titled, Former U.S. Surgeon General Eliminate Gaps in Healthcare for Minorities, written December 16th, 2020, Satch, Satcher said he grew up hearing that story. By the time he was six, he wanted to become a doctor. Even though he could not have realized it at the time, his illness was an introduction to segregation and health disparities that still exist between African Americans and white people. So this just shows how much of an impact that Dr. Jackson had on Satcher as a young boy and that this is still an issue that occurs today and it was an issue a while ago and they're still seeing that there are disparities between African Americans and white people with getting healthcare access. So in a podcast titled On Point Race, Health, and the Pandemic with Dr. David Satcher, an Apple podcast on December 2nd, 2020, Dr. Satcher talked about a story as a young boy that had a lot of impact on him. So as a child, he had to work really hard on the farm. He had a family, a big family, so they all had responsibilities. And he would save up all of his money. And there was one time when he really wanted to get ice cream. So he saved up all of his money from working. And he went to the local gas station to go and get it. And he was denied access from getting served ice cream. And this was just a really um, impactful thing to him. And this is when he really realized, like, wow, I'm getting treated differently because of the color of my skin. So he was very grateful for his family because of all of them worked together on this farm. And since he worked so hard, it ended up helping him a lot later in life. And he had made decisions throughout his life that could have impacted him in getting into medical school. So his first big steps in change, in changing, um, for the black people, he that could have impacted him into getting into med school. So he participated in a workshop that was uh, mainly for people that were going into med school and they were giving pelvic exams. And he had noticed in this workshop that the black women were getting treated a lot worse than the white women. So because of this, he actually had walked out of the workshop and he could have gotten kicked out of med school and he was very worried about this, but then the next day, he had found out that all of his other classmates that were in the workshop were very inspired by him, and they as well just walked out, or, or didn't, they actually just didn't even show up to the workshop, because they realized that the black people were getting treated a lot worse than the white people. So that was his first big step in creating change. And he was a big follower of Martin Luther King Jr., he had actually gone to the same college as him and he would always just listen to him and just kind of follow what he said because he really was a big believer as well as Satcher's older brother and he was very inspired by his older brother so he just kind of followed that too. And according to an article titled David Satcher by the website Black Past on January 18th, 2018, during his distinguished career, Satcher earned 18 honorary degrees. He also received awards from American Academy of Family Physicians, the American Medical Association, the American College of Physicians, and Ebony Magazine. So all of these different um, 
honorary degrees that he got and awards are because of how much he worked to create change and he really was an advocate for people of color. So overall, David Satcher was an inspirational man who overcame many obstacles and today I showed you his background story and the significance that he had with creating change throughout his life. David Satcher is a name that should rem be remembered for changing history.